She got big old mummy milkers and a big ass fat ass, but that bitch ain't got no damn common sense. What's up everybody? I made some big upgrades. Now y'all know last episode I got stuck. I got stuck on design. I finished everybody's apartments. Everybody's apartments somewhat look too much alike though and I'm, I'm not really loving it but I think I did a pretty decent job. Of course I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna walk y'all through it. Um, Another big thing I'm getting a graphics card, bro. Fine. Praise the Lord. You feel me? Because I'm getting a 380 Ti, which is one of the most powerful graphics cards you can get right below the 390. I just didn't really need the 390, and the performance is practically the exact same on game. So I'm getting a 380 Ti. Um, I did pay like 700 more than what it's worth, but like this lot actually made me want to buy one even more. This lot and Fortnite, because I tried to record Fortnite the other day and. It was running mad slow so i was like yo i want to play fortnite on here and i want to be able to record it and i can't do either but you see this lot man this lot is actually massive and you can know i don't know if y'all notice it or not i can't really tell on that other monitor but it it definitely isn't as smooth running as it was on that smaller lot so basically i was like yo we got to get the 380 so we could play the sims 4 on max settings 4k and all of that but i'm gonna show y'all what i did man let me just what are we gonna start at i think i'm gonna just start here this is the hallway now i still got the traditional martin vibes i did festive festivize it yes that is a word festivize i festivized it made it very festival like a cool, couple episodes ago but uh i made a whole nother spot because i expanded the apartment y'all saw that so there's a back part to this now which is back here now i think i did a good job in making it feel and look just like it belongs just like this was part of the martin apartment this you just never saw so basically what's back here that's actually an incinerary room now like legitly and then the laundry room is moved over here now she lightweight startled me bro i did not expect a sim to be sitting in here so this is the laundry room man so we got a nice big laundry room with four was that four yeah four dryers four washers got some hand sanitizer fire extinguisher this i imagine is like uh like a lost and found type situation you know what i'm saying got some shoes some gloves lost and found we got the litter box in here because we do have a little cat running around i'm not sure if he's staying or not or she's staying or not but we do have a little tiger nugget running around uh so let's just mm, let's go with uh let's go with the new apartments first i got some new custom content you know who that is man i told you i had to get some custom content to tie in martin a little bit with the with the whole vibe in here so we definitely got jerome and like a i don't know what that is some medieval type looking stuff we got another cork board over here you know what i'm saying because cork boards and apartments just go together i imagine this being something like this is the cork board for the laundry room so like you know in a normal big high-rise apartment everybody just go to the laundry room whenever you can if somebody's washing you just screw basically i say screw because you can't cuss on youtube uh and i'm thinking here since it's only was at one two three four five six apartments people be like all right monday such and such got the washing dryer tuesday so you like mark when you wash your clothes so it's not all hemmed up even though there is four washers uh yeah so basically the numbers i got this is the little back of the hallway i love this little area it looks so real it looks so lived in and real back here just because it's like a little i don't know what you call it it's just like a little cubby area you know what i'm saying it's these two apartments right here it just feels good you know what i'm saying we got the cat food right there we got another little board here we put your mail or just you know random stuff uh this is where i would want to live and this is actually where i'm gonna live in apartment 40 but that's exactly where i want to live like you off in the cut you ain't really around everybody else you got your own little privacy right here and then you got an apartment next to you but i'm gonna stop playing we're gonna go in 40 40 is gonna be my apartment me and uh violet and you know what all the real ones y'all already know because you subscribe to the only fans and y'all the real ones me violet Violet and Kiara got busy so I don't know I think I'm switching the storyline a little bit where Kiara is maybe Violet's friend and and Violet is you know Violet about that freak life so she was like yo this is my friend we went to school together whatever we went to college together she need a place to stay and then we get freaky I don't know but I like Kiara I told you she's one of my favorite sims so I had to get busy so basically you come in the house man this is where you put your shoes and your coat and all of that 
I haven't really decorated this too much, but it's something. And then you go down the hallway. Now the first room to your right, of course, is the bedroom. Y'all saw the bedroom on camera. Couple little new custom content pictures, man. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really finalized it yet, so I'm not putting them out yet, but there will be new custom content pictures that are very lit that's coming soon. Of course, this is the ensuite bathroom. Y'all already saw it is, but I'm just showing you first person. And then we go to the left. These Sims just be right around the corner, bruh. Uh, this is the bathroom. I love this bathroom. Nice bathroom here with the chandelier, bathtub, walk-in shower. I rock with this girl, man. She actually got a, um, I follow her on Instagram. She got a dude. Her and her dude is hella goals, man. They both, like, they be doing gaming together. They both, like, models and stuff. I want to rock the hottest merch in the game. Well, go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming lanyards all kind of stuff man so go over to sayingdaniel.com slash shop get the hottest merch man i got it on right now because it's just so fly also if you want my uncensored sim videos you want access to all my content before it hits youtube and some content that never hits youtube that's strictly exclusive you gotta go over to the only fans man let's get back into the video and then to the left here you got me man now i think this is by far one of the dopest pictures honestly like this is almost good enough that i can make this in real life and people would think that somebody drew this as me as an animated character like this dude looks like me for real like it's kind of crazy if i cut my beard back down it kind of reminds me of uh i don't know who the guy is it's, i, I want to like my brain is saying castro but i don't think castro is who i'm thinking about it's like some castro action but see castro was evil wasn't he i think who i'm thinking about is evil too i don't know it reminds me of one of them like pictures of somebody that like everybody having their house because he's like a dictator and you have to have it i like this picture though long story short i like this picture i don't know what the hell i'm talking about but you know what i'm talking about matter of fact maybe nah, i ain't even gonna bother and then in here this is the second bedroom which right now is just a massage parlor because i want to get some some happy ending videos on OnlyFans because i don't know it's just lit and i want to do that you know what i'm saying maybe violet you know she know a little bit of massage techniques that she could show me on the of gang then of course in here this is just the open living room i added some red plant i'm not really a huge fan of decor in this house but it's good you see the picture over there on the wall we ain't gonna spend too much time on that and then of course this kitchen is just phenomenal i like the living room but like i said it's not decorated the best the kitchen is flawless though i love the kitchen so that's my apartment and then of course santa's apartment is across from mine he's actually my neighbor i'm not gonna go into detail about his apartment because it's really not decorated that well but this is santa claus's apartment his bedrooms look exactly like mine he got a little bit more like that pop art jazz kind of art because he an og you know ogs love stuff like this y'all already know what i'm talking about it's like that jazz colorful look you know what i'm saying so og got the got the colorful paintings he you know his house ain't like i said i use mostly the same furniture which i need to go back and fix because it doesn't doesn't give the house its character as much when it's everything is when everything is different but it's cool though it's cool he got a little bathroom here same situation uh but i need to decorate a little more detail in some of these apartments because some of them are just too much alike so then you go back down the hallway of course you saw the laundry room you go to the left you got tommy's apartment now tommy's apartment he got this little tiny hallway nice bathroom to the left though very nice bathroom but a tiny hallway but it's actually a decent apartment like it opens up nice once you get past that tiny hallway squeeze past the chairs you actually get a pretty nice house in here you know what i'm saying pretty nice house not a lot of window but i think there's enough window action to suffice for the whole house i think i mean that's giving a lot of light off got some new custom content again um i haven't perfected it yet though but i got some nice pictures in there and he's actually got i actually got them on some of the custom content which i really really like these pictures i think this is something i'm gonna do more often is take pictures in the game put a little filter or something over them and then make pictures that they can put on their wall like custom content i'm gonna show y'all some of them when I'm done with this little walkthrough. And then of course his bedroom, pretty simple. Nothing's really changed. But it just gives it, you know, it gives it some realisticness. Even though that's his old girl, which I don't know. I don't think he gonna mess with her. Because I got Nina back in here now. So I don't know if he gonna mess with, with light skin or not. So you leave in Tommy's apartment. You know, we got over here where Rico used to live. Now Rico gone. Rico gone. I don't know if he coming back or not. But Rico gone. Because I got tired of looking at Rico's sad ass face. Now Rico might return. But right now Axel's taking his place. And this is Axel's apartment. 
apartment. We could write it in that with the upgrades in the building, Rico couldn't afford it. He got child support, child support payments and all of that. Rico was kind of broke, so he couldn't really afford the new upgrades in the apartment. Axel moved in. So this is Axel's apartment. Now Axel's apartment is definitely one of my favorites. It's got a nice layout, you know what I'm saying? Big open concept. Kitchen is nice. Pretty much all the decor is the same in every apartment. That's something I got to change. But there go Axel over here. See, Axel's cool too, man. Axel got a little bit more, a little bit more less like, I don't know, Rico was always crying. Why was Rico always crying? I don't know. But hopefully Axel don't be crying like that. But Axel in here, you know, doing his thing. I love this picture right here, by the way. That's one of my favorite pics. I would put that on the wall in real life because I'm about that life. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio gang in the building. Even though it's like not Scorpio season no more, we still always in the building. Uh, this is new custom content. I love this picture right here. This is new custom content. A couple of these are new. Some of them are the same. Really just getting an idea of the layout because the layout is really the only different. I forgot about that. That's new too. His little bedroom, you know. I'm not like super into the way everything is decorated, but I like the layout. His bathroom is laid out nice. You see, we still got that picture on the wall. I almost like this better than the bathtub being in there. That's his little bathroom. So again, man, nice layout, big windows, open concept, one bedroom though. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, only one bedroom at, at uh, Axel's house. The Martin apartment, apartment 42, you already know. Nothing has really changed in here. The only thing that's changed is Nina's back, full effect. But nothing's changed in here because this, this apartment was just perfect, man. Oh, Zeke grew his beard out. You know what I'm saying? He's getting older. He's getting him some chin hairs. You know what I'm saying? So Zeke got his beard growing out. Uh, this is new, too. That's some new custom content. Big shout out to the Martin squad. You know what I'm saying? Had to show love. But nothing else has changed, man. Everything is pretty much exactly the same in here. Just making sure while we're doing a full walkthrough. This changed back to an office and then the bedroom still the same. And the reason I changed it back is because, you know, OG Sunny D and Violet, they got their own spot now. But see, this is why I need a graphics card, man. We got we got too many people in. We got hella people and I'm using the code to have more people in here than I'm supposed to. Then the incinerary room is actually the incinerary now. So that's where you throw your garbage away at. And then this is actually one of my favorite apartments, man. Madeline and Travi's apartment is probably one of my favorite apartments. Apartment 43. It's got the narrow hallway it's got the narrow hallway but look how it opens up nice nice looking open concept right here man i love that brick in the kitchen by the way peep the peep the custom content bro i'm telling you that's lit right there yo i would put that on my wall i would definitely put that on my wall in real life but uh yeah man so basically madeline that's madeline right there that's her you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a picture she took on the IG. So she still got the flower wall. We got a little bit more decorative with the uh, leaves and all of that. Uh, kitchen is real nice. Love the kitchen. Got the computer. Dining room. I love this right here. This is just a vibe. How do you change these, man? I swear there's a way to change the pattern on those table mats. But I don't know how. So let me know in the comments if y'all know how to do that. But this is a nice apartment, man. I would I would like this one. I like this layout. There's a light sitting in the middle of the damn... <laughs> there's a light just floating there. Uh, but yeah, I like this layout, man. Nice nice size living room and it's actually a two bedroom too this is some custom content i made too little anime vibe but uh this is bedroom number one right here it's got the little couches in here man nice size bedroom fireplace very nice in here and then bedroom number two is right next door again nice this is the nicest apartment in the cheap range i would say it goes martin apartment is number one because i mean it's just based off martin then you got my apartment that's on the corner and then I say this apartment is number three or they could all share number one because I really like this layout and it has two bedrooms, two fireplaces and all that. And then you got over here to the left. Over here to the left is just a little bathroom. Nothing crazy, but definitely a nice size bathroom with the walk in shower. That's the only downside. It's only one bathroom. So nobody has an ensuite bathroom, but that's cool. So this is Madeline and Travis's apartment. Now let's zoom out so y'all can get an idea how everything is looking. Oh, and everybody got doormats. I don't know if I said that. Everybody got doormats now, which I like that vibe. I like this vibe too with the shoes outside. That's just a look. Even though I wouldn't trust leaving my Jordans outside, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know each other here. So this is the full layout, man. This is the full layout. As you can see, we've grown a lot. It's probably quadrupled the size of this lot. And it shows too. It's snowing. It's like 12 sims in here, I think. 
so the game definitely be running slow uh but we have santa claus of course we got santa in here we got his girl we got my dude og sunny d and violet also we got kiera that's living with us nina's back in here we got madeline and travi tommy uh we got axel walking around looking like he about to fix something zeke Violet, Angelica, and then we got Tiger Nugget. Tiger Nugget 2.0 is in here, man. And basically, Tiger Nugget just runs free to everybody's apartment, which is kind of dope because everybody cool, so it's like everybody kind of take care of Tiger Nugget in a sense. But whether or not Tiger Nugget will stay, we'll have to decide that. Now, the custom content, got a lot of custom content upgrades, but I'm not ready to put show y'all yet because I got stuff in here that I need to get rid of. But basically, I got some good stuff. Now, I'm going to have to cut out bad stuff, like the X-rated stuff, but I'll show y'all some of the good stuff. That's a nice one. This one a nice one right here. Like that one. Like this one. This is cool for Christmas. I don't even know what this is. I think this was an ad, but it just had a vibe. This is a Martin action. I like this one. This is Romy Rome in like the the paint look. Got us in the she in the mask. That's what I'm saying. That's a good look, man. I like that for art for this game. I even got the proposal. You know, I was just playing with stuff basically. Not all of these are gonna make it to the custom content. I had to zoom out, but I even got this one. Got this. This is a dope pick, man. I remember when I took this. So I need some picks in real life like this, man. This is a this is a lit pick right here. Love this picture. This is another good one, man. I'm telling you, my Sam character looks so much like me that I can actually pretend print these out in real life and pretend somebody made an animated person of me this one's my favorite though saw that one probably delete this one it's a little too big got this because it's always about that freak life you know what i'm saying now these was dope man i found these just randomly on google and it's basically fresh prints i think i got three or four of them these will definitely be final in the custom content link because i like these these is nice and it's like three of them in here yeah him and uncle phil and then there's one where he's kicking out what's his name yeah there you go jazzy jeff jazzy J. got a couple pictures like this i don't know who this is but she's fine as hell so i had her in here she'd probably be gone though now i got some good anime pics these i just found randomly too on a wallpaper website these are some good pics for some art though i got a, i got a couple in here just some good anime vibe definitely look good in the game i actually really like this look for uh art elf on the shelf is wildin i like those pics got some final fantasy action some more anime action love this pic couple like that shout out to nintendo talk i put his little art in here too this is dope too man this reminded me of my childhood for real this was me bro we got the nintendo little tv box tv man we got some games scattered around this was the good time so i love that pic i think i'm gonna leave this one though i like that one so that's custom content on the wide art then we got some new ones on the border the black border art this was dope martin manga style that was dope this is cool of course i gotta you know bring the show into the to the game a little bit it's funny how much tommy in the game reminds me of tommy from the show and don't look nothing like him at all but it's just like he remind me of him for some reason on the vertical canvas i got some new stuff got some boots some straps most strap got the weekend got some timey up vibe so we got some new stuff man not all of it is really great but i i'll I perfect it and then when i perfect it I'll, of course, give it to everybody on the OnlyFans and then the Patreon, which I've decided what I'm going to do, man. Basically, you want to sign up for the OnlyFans. I'm just keeping 1,000. If I was a fan of me, which I am a fan of me, but like if I wasn't me, I would sign up for my OnlyFans. And the reason why is because for that $4.99, you're going to get a merch discount code as soon as you sign up, 10%, which might go up from 10. We'll see. You're going to get the link. To all my custom my custom content the link to the whole sims folder as soon as you sign up it's going to send you a message it's going to say welcome to the only fans here go your merch discount here go the sims folder and on top of that you're going to get access to all the uncensored videos whether it's gaming or just little clips from vlogs that get cut out whatever that is and you'll have access to my pay-per-view stuff that's going to be me it's going to be lit as hell in the future so it's like for that $4.99, you getting access to pretty much everything. But I am going to have some people that don't want to have OnlyFans on their credit card or whatever. And they just not with the freak life. And that's what the Patreon going to be for or the YouTube memberships. Which by the time this comes out, I would have figured that out. So I'll be promoting it. I'll actually make a separate video um, before this comes out. 
letting everybody know so I'll, I'll make a video before letting y'all know but if y'all haven't I'm telling you the only fans is the best bang for the buck man you pretty much getting everything for that five dollars uh which i was gonna take it up to ten dollars but i think ten is just too much 4.99 nice smooth price you supporting me you getting access to content only fans is really easy to upload to which is why I prefer OnlyFans over Patreon. Because Patreon just don't have a good way to upload. Look at how active this game looks, man. We got all these ceiling fans. It's snowing. It's lit, man. I'm telling you. This series is going to get even better. I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode in a minute, though. Because I don't want to do too much, too many episodes with the game running slow. Um, and we're getting ready to get the graphics card. And it's about to be stupid lit for Christmas. So I hope you all excited. We're going to have videos on the sands. We're going to also have other videos. Because I'm going to be able to record. I'm going to bring Fortnite back probably. New season coming out or came out. I don't know yet. It's just going to be lit, man. It's going to be lit. So this is my new apartment. And of course, when you sign up for the OnlyFans or the Patreon or whatever, I'm going to give y'all my lot folder so y'all will get all of these. I'm pretty much just going to give you my whole, my whole Sims folder. Not just custom content. It's going to be everything that's in my documents folder. Then you place that in your game and you'll be playing the same game I'm playing basically. Because I mean, that's just, it's easy and it's lit to do it that way. As you see, the Martin apartment is still the littest. Martin apartment still lit, man. I don't know what y'all listening to, but it's they seem to like it. So that's what we're going to do, man. So that's the new apartment. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the new apartment, man. If y'all could make any improvements or any, you know, uh, what they call it. What kind of criticism? Constructive criticism, I think they call it. Good criticism. Let me know in the comments anything you would change. One thing I definitely am going to change that I don't like about the way I did this is everybody's apartment is a little too similar. Everybody's got the same dining room table, same chairs, like same beds. A lot of that is going to change. And I'll probably wait until I get the graphics card and then we can really just go crazy. But um, my boy over here meditating, man. Got to get away from everything. Get some meditation in, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get some meditation in, man. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what y'all think about the apartments, anything that you would change. But I think the main thing that I'm going to change that I don't like is just everybody got the same couch, same furniture. That's gotta change. But it's about to be lit, man. I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of the best series, Sims 4 series, that I make. I did like the Vault series, though. That one, I would say that's a close, that's a close race. Because that Vault series, man, the vibe and then the Vault, that was lit but this one is gonna be lit too because i'm gonna have more than eight people you already see i got more than eight people it's gonna be the same vibe but a vault except everybody gonna be living in the apartment building and then you can zoom out i can show you what the apartment building looks like i put some billboards up here just to kind of make it feel real but i'm, I'm kind of regretting that it might be too many of them but yeah man we we out here bro martin vibes look at the view this is a nice look i wish it wasn't so blurred out though it's kind of crazy like the way I built this, it really looks like it's part of this building. I didn't make it perfect, but I needed the space. Damn, you could look up underneath the floor. So yeah, this is dope, man. I definitely love it. Um, I can't wait to get that graphics card and be able to play like crazy frame rates. But let me know in the comments, y'all. I love you. Peace. <laughs>